John Locke was an English philosopher. Um, his theory of social contract was that um, was to protect natural rights. He believed that uh, nature um, we people were natural to have life, liberty, and property, and that yes, we needed higher um, authority because we would do would we would do um, harm wouldn't do would do harm um, in order to get the best interests for ourselves. Um, he also believed that that would be the only thing that the the higher authority would be able to control. Also, he believed that we, the people, um, would be able to um, um, toss, uh, I guess, the government out when we believe that they weren't um, caring for our rights anymore. Um, so that is what I gather together in regards to the social con social contract theory um, that John Locke um, wrote um, and with me in regards to reading in the um, in the chapters and uh, you know doing a couple research on YouTube um, also um, it played it influence the U.S. Constitution because that is how we received our First Amendment, where um, we um, so the First Amendment that nothing could um, pretty much mess with our religion or our freedom of exercising that or our speak. Um, so that is where the the constitution was influenced by John Locke um in writing that again his biggest thing was we did need higher power um but it really was just to protect our rights and once he felt that that wasn't being done then we the people also had the ability to toss that um toss that um authority out um so that is how I understood um, John Locke theory and how he influenced the constitution. I could be wrong, but I hope that you guys are able to leave some comments and guide me if I was incorrect.